And we're hearing from a man who survived a terrible crash involving a runaway big rig on a busy Detroit freeway. Thanks for joining us, everyone. This was nearly a disaster on southbound I-75 near 94. A gravel hauler lost control on a ramp, came sliding down the embankment. For at least one driver on 75, there was no time to try and get out of the way. And that driver just spoke with our Sean Lay. Sean, how is he doing tonight? Look, Karen, we just sat down with him. You can tell he is still shaken up. So are three men from across the river in Canada. All these guys headed down 75 yesterday when out of nowhere, that unmanned semi was coming right at them. Guardian Angel was there watching over you, so. Jim Thompson is bruised, he's sore, and he's counting his blessings tonight. Coming home from work Thursday afternoon on southbound I-75, just past I-94, Jim had no idea that above him on a ramp, the driver of a gravel hauler lost control. The driver bailing out and his unmanned big rig came rolling down the embankment, crossing the northbound lanes and crashing through the wall, heading right towards Jim. Right, right there in front of me, just come across and I, I think I hit the brakes, just a re reflex. Um, and basically, I think I just kind of put my head down and, and, you know, ran into it. Jim hit the rig in his 2017 GMC. The rig hit a pickup truck. Three people in that truck are from Canada. Everyone here survived. We had um, everything on our side, really, as far as the, you know, the cement barrier goes. And then the, the John's driving, the Silverado truck, and... Um, Somebody else, I think, yeah. watching over us for sure. Maybe you have a purpose. So that struck me. And I started thinking about my family. Um, you know, if it had been a direct, we would, we would have been crushed uh, between the concrete and the truck. Boy, we thank Jim for taking a few minutes with us late this afternoon to tell us about that ordeal. Just breathtaking, Karen and Jason, that no one was seriously hurt or killed. The injuries here. One of the gentlemen in Canada, he's got a broken finger. The truck driver who bailed out has got a broken leg. And then you saw Jim's got those bumps and bruises. Back to you. Sean, we're so glad that they are OK. Were we able to find out exactly what caused all of this? You know, state police had that highway shut down for a long time yesterday doing just that. They're trying to find out why that driver lost control and why that truck just had to go down the embankment in that way. They're still investigating that. Such a frightening story, but the people are OK, and that is a good way to end this story. Thank you, Sean.